At the start of today, I was dead confident that a deal for Sergio Regulon to United was basically done. Less than 12 hours later, I'm sitting here thinking, Jose Mourinho? Spurs? What? But that's what's happened. David Ornstein from The Athletic broke the news that Spurs were close to agreeing a deal to sign Regulon ahead of United. Now, I spoke to Fabrizio Romano yesterday and you all saw the interview and you saw how confident Romano was about the interest from United, how much Regulon wanted to move to United, how he wanted to move to the Premier League. But it was all based around that buyback clause. Now, it seems like Tottenham Hotspur are happy to have that buyback clause in that contract and they will probably pay a little bit more than United and they are happy to have a player at their club that will probably have one eye on leaving before he's even signed. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, but just when we thought we we're actually on the verge of signing another player that can actually massively improve, probably starting 11 and certainly the squad at United, it seems like he might be on his way to Spurs instead. Now that is a big surprise, an unwanted surprise, but a surprise nevertheless. My immediate opinion on that is if Spurs are happy to sign a player that does have a buyback clause, so Madrid can buy him back in one or two years time when he becomes an even better left back for a fixed price, that's cool Spurs, you can do that. But United, I'm, I agree with United not to do that. I don't want United to sign a player that already has his exit planned back to Real Madrid. That's not a reason why United ever sign players. And it's the sort of player that we've signed over the last few years. Somebody who comes in, does a job for a year or two, or the, well, was supposed to do a job for a year or two and moves on. We are planning for the long term right now. And some of you may have a go at me in the comments for that saying, ah, oh, fuck that, Sam, just sign Regulon, give whatever clause Real Madrid want. We just need players to improve our starting 11 now. And yes, he would improve our starting 11 now. But in a year's time or two years time, when he gets shifted on and we need to go out and sign another one, it just leaves United with another problem to then solve. So I completely agree with United in standing 100% firm on not having a buyback clause in the contract. I was confident that we were going to have a deal for Regalon because I thought, look, we can put a first refusal in there. Real Madrid can have him. If anybody else wants to sign him, they can have him for that fee. That seemed a reasonable compromise that we would find a middle ground fee of around 27, 28 million have that first refusal in, but not the buyback that we don't want in, that Real Madrid do. But it seems like Spurs have come over the top. It's not as if they're going to be offering a ton more money than United, but it's simply the fact that they will be offering what Madrid want and what United are not prepared to give. And therefore, if that is the case, Regulon will be moving to Tottenham Hotspur and not to Manchester United. Now, Fabrizio Romano did say this in the interview that I had with him yesterday. At the moment, there is no bid from Tottenham, but if Manchester United will not find an agreement with Real Madrid, we have to say what will happen. Also, if Mourinho said they have Ben Davis, they have Sessegnon, so at the moment, it's not a priority for Tottenham. And the real club who are working together on are Manchester United. So the Spurs interest for me is not a 1 million percent surprise, and it shouldn't be for any of you that did listen to that interview. Fabrizio knew about the interest. He knew that Mourinho and Spurs were at least sniffing around him. And maybe they just saw the opportunity. Because maybe Spurs just look at Regulon and Levy, you know what he's like as a businessman. He's saying, look, we'll sign him. We'll get a buyback clause of 10, 15 million above his price. We'll just sell him back to Real Madrid in a couple of years time. Make a tidy profit. That would suit Tottenham Hotspur. And maybe a lot of you would argue, yeah, that would suit United as well because for a couple of years we would have a much better left back in Sergio Regulon. But I'm sorry, I disagree. I do not think I want to sign a player, no matter who that player is, that has a buyback clause that means his exit is already planned from the club and that he's already dreaming about that time. His goal in 18 months is not to win the Premier League with United, it's to become Real Madrid's first choice left back when Marcelo leaves. It's, it's, it's the wrong ambition. It's a player coming to your club with one eye on the door before he's even held the shirt up. And, you know, some of you might disagree. I imagine quite a few of you will actually disagree with me on that one. But this summer transfer window, eh? It's just constantly throwing up unwanted surprises and unwanted pieces of news. We've got Donny van der Beek so far. Sergio Regulon really felt like a, not a, basically a done deal. Like it was, it was so certain it was gonna, that a compromise was going to be found. But I suppose my naivety in that respect was that I... I wasn't really thinking about what if a club comes in and is willing to give Real Madrid that buyback clause? What would that then mean for United? Well, if it is the case, 
then Spurs will have him. And as far as I'm concerned, and it's my opinion, you might disagree, Spurs can have him because I don't want a player at the club that has a buyback clause. I'm sorry, but finally, we're making signings for the right, right reasons, sorry, under Solskjaer. And Harry Maguire may be mega overpriced. And Dan James may not be good enough in the long term, but I think we're signing players for the right reasons that fit a mould. And signing a player that wants to move back to Madrid before he's even moved to Manchester, it doesn't fall in that mould. In the same way that signing Gareth Bale on £500,000 or whatever it is a week because we miss out on Jadon Sancho wouldn't be in that mould. But Solskjaer, right now, he's heading into next, this season sorry, with Donny van der Beek. After a season of finishing third, finishing above Chelsea, in a summer where Chelsea have signed Werner, Ziyech, Havertz, Thiago Silva, Saar, going to sign a new keeper as well. And we've signed Donny van der Beek, who isn't even our priority position that we need to improve on. A centre-back and a right winger are what we need. But at the moment, we're about to miss out on Regulon because of a buyback clause. I think that's the correct thing to do, but it'll be interesting to see if any more developments happen. I'm sure some more developments will happen, but this was not a video I expected to do. But I suppose... Expect the unexpected with United in the summer transfer market. Really is painful being a United fan and watching it all unfold and nothing really surprises us anymore. Although this really has. But let me know what you think about the Regulon to Spurs rumours. It's not even rumours. Ornstein has said it's close to being done. Fabrizio Romano has tweeted as well, confirming that Spurs really are close to signing him and not Manchester United. What's your reaction to that? Do you think United should say, no, sod this? Just get the buyback clause in the contract, get him for a couple of years, that'll improve our team straight away. Is that what you want to see? Or would you agree with United in standing firm that we shouldn't have that clause in the contract? Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. But Regulon, it's all got a bit complicated.